Hello, good morning. Good day, man. Good day, man. Okay, okay, okay. started going uh, to Teresa first, then Mahalakshmi or the hemodialysis unit, and then the Gadurai, and uh, then the I am going to St. Teresa Hospital, uh, dialysis unit. Teresa Hospital, the hemodialysis unit uh, is uh, run both by Teresa Hospital in collaboration with uh, Rotary. So today we will know what is CKD MBD. CKD MBD is mineral bone disease which happens in a chronic kidney disease patients. So it is characterized by abnormalities of calcium, phosphorus minerals, vitamin D, and parathyroid hormone it affects the bone uh, in the in this after the stage 3 of ckd where there will be abnormalities in the mineralization bone turnover volume linear growth or strength of the bone we have to address it early in ckd patients to prevent bone fractures as well as cardiovascular complications why there will be CKD, MBD in CKD patients? After the stage 3 of CKD, uh, there is a decreased excretion of phosphate from the body. See, kidney is important organ to excrete the phosphate from the body. This phosphate mineral gets accumulated in the CKD after CKD stage 5, leads leading to hyperphosphatemia. Second patient will have hypocalcemia. Kidney is required for uh, a conversion of uh, inactive vitamin D into active vitamin D and active vitamin D uh, causes the absorption of calcium from the gut as well as from the kidneys and because the kidney function decreases this kind is the decreased vitamin D there is there is a decreased absorption of calcium from the gut as well as from the kidneys this leads to hypocalcemia third because there is a hypocalcemia there is a uh, activation of uh, parathyroid hormone from the uh, parathyroid gland. So this parathyroid hormone which is released causes reabsorption of uh, calcium from the bones as well as from the gut. So eventually this leads to demineralization of the bone, uh, weakening of the bone and these patients are prone for fractures. So eventually there is a severe demineralization of bone in the uh, CKD patients and hyperphosphatemia as well as uh, uh, calcium for, uh, phosphate products sometimes cause problems uh, get chelated and get can be deposited in the vasculatures or uh, blood vessels leading to cardiovascular complications so how to manage this complex problem so CKD, MBD, uh, the management starts early. In the stage uh, 3 CKD, uh, we see all the parameters, vitamin B12, calcium, phosphorus and serum PTH. When there is a white, low calcium level, we add active vitamin D. 
Before that, we advise them to take low phosphorus diet. What are the low phosphorus diet? Uh, the dairy products uh, has to be avoided. Uh, red meat has to be avoided. So we advise all this so that the phosphorus level uh, is maintained in a in a in a range. So first thing is to maintain the phosphorus level. If it's not possible, then we add phosphate binders. There are drugs where it absorbs the uh, phosphate in the intestine and reduce the phosphate level. Third is uh, when there's a serum PTH is high, then there are drugs like calcium emetics, uh, like sinacalcid, where it reduces the uh, uh, serum PTH level. Uh, but we have to monitor again calcium, phosphorus, and PTH and adjust that uh, accordingly. Fourth is uh, strengthening the bone. So we have to give weight bearing exercise so that we, they strengthen the bone. Fifth is uh, uh, regular monitoring of calcium, phosphorus, serum, PTH, vitamin D3 uh, level so that we correct uh, accordingly when there is a deranged parameters. Last but not least, avoid smoking excess alcohol all this are important thank you